It's not often that I find myself driving through a thunderstorm in the middle of the night with promises of a blacklight sheet full of imperial moths where I'm heading, but it just so happens that a group of entomologists is the one telling me that. So needless to say, I got in the car real fast. So, so because we are rained out, we just have a blacklight going in the, uh, the backyard. Um, but that does not mean that we aren't getting anything because our backyard is in the mountains. So we already have, well, probably not going to get too much more tonight. We have some very cool Saturnids, two, uh, Royal Imperial Moths and a, uh, one of these guys. Let me, this is a... Sphinx Hubbard Eye. This is one of my favorites because of the pink underwings. Look at that. But a bunch of stuff. We got a caterpillar killer beetle. Got a just ton of moths. Like tons and tons of moths. Some co common lined sphinxes. Bunch of stuff on the other side too. A camp and Otis worker. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff. That, that is a beautiful moth. Yeah, it is a, it's a pretty Euclid. The other one is like one. very similar here. That, this one's a male, yeah? Here for, for a few days now. Well, that's a a pretty good find right there. Huge Tohono Vinegaroon under this here rock. Cannot complain about that at all. Okay. I love these guys. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> the, it's like the tiniest, like most shriveled up tail I've probably ever seen on a Vinegaroon. It's it's clearly it's working because it's a... proud of that tail, man. <laughs> so while this is a common animal, just a striped tail scorpion, I don't often see them like covered in babies like that. It's pretty cool, like super super covered in babies. <laughs> well, I trust me. I swear this moth is cool looking. Pretty big actually. There we go. See, is he gonna behave on the plant? He yeah, is gonna behave on the plant. So, so this is the same species as all the uh, yellow ones, but this is the other more different color morph, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm I'm particularly fond of this one, not just because they're rarer, totally not just because they're rarer. So that's I will not complain about seeing one. I'm I'm quite stoked, even if they're like the most common moth out here, or most common you know big Saturnid. I won't complain about seeing a big Saturnid, especially look at that, look at that pretty. Of course, nothing better to follow a late night blacklighting than an early morning to go get up and hike. Of course, I didn't get up early enough to check the blacklight before sunrise for any last moths that might have shown up. Thankfully, some of the insane people I was with did, and boy did some moths show up. These are Hyalophora gloveri, or Glover's silk moth, one of my favorite giant silk moths in southern Arizona. So seeing four of them had shown up in the morning was pretty cool. Of course, we didn't have too much time to relax in the morning, because before too long we were heading out to go do some daytime collecting. While this was mostly a blacklighting trip, with moths as the main target, we weren't just going to sit around all day. Let's get out there and see what we can find. So, we are off to a pretty solid start, under that rock, which was right there. We've got this baby giant desert centipede. So freaking pretty. I'm sure all of you know these are... One of my favorite bugs in the great state of Arizona. And uh, considering it took us not even five minutes to find this guy, gives us pretty good hopes for the rest of the day, I would say. Pretty, pretty good. So, speaking of hopeful starts to the day, as I was literally recording that last segment, this uh, beautiful green bordered ground beetle was flipped, who's giving me a nice chomp. Um, but these are one of my favorite beetles. So... You know, my favorite solitary bug, my favorite, one of my favorite beetles. I really, I'm not going to complain about what's going on right now. This is a, like, I mean, you just can't, can't do better than that black and green color. That's so pretty. What a, what a good beetle right there. Check out this grasshopper. I'm a big fan of rainbow grasshoppers, but I think this might be my new favorite. Look at that thing. Well, I will say, it kind of looks ill. <laughs> you know, like it looks diseased, but I promise it's not. It just looks like that. It's a really cool look. What a beautiful animal. Look at that thing. Moments before disaster. 
This is one of my favorite snakes in Arizona. These are awesome. That is so cool. Did that uh, ACV ever make it? <laughs> oh my shit. god. god. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Mountain King. No hesitation. No hesitation, dude. Just oh my yum. God. Yoink, yoink. Oh my oh, yeah, like that guy. Oh, Excuse ow, me. Ow. Oh yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Here, hold on, I need to get a photo, video. Photo. Oh, I want to get a chewing on you. Nom 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 nom. Dude. I was trying to let go. <laughs> oh like, that was rude. Why'd you do that? What, he wanted to give you kisses. He did. Man. If you couldn't tell by our reaction, we were a little excited to find this snake. Some of us in the group had been looking for one for years, and this was my personal first. We let him curl up under my hat so he'd calm down and people could get some nice photos of him. Myself included, I managed to snap some pretty solid video, if you ask me. Well, it seems the snake train is still rolling with this Sonoran gopher snake. Uh, so, I think that the snaky day is looking even snakier, huh? But, yeah, so while this might not be quite as uh, exciting or special as the other snakes that we've encountered today, because this is a very common species, uh, I will not complain about a snake. Um, and this is a tiny little baby, probably born last year. Um, these get huge, like upwards of six feet long. This one is maybe two on a good day. So, uh, you know, if it was a huge one, that'd be different. It'd be a lot cooler, but I will not complain because I haven't actually seen that many of these, despite how common they supposedly are. So, yeah, pretty solid. Go for snake. Of course, before we knew it, it was once again time to set up our blacklight sheets and hopefully come across some insane moth and other flying insect species. So we're finally working on getting our blacklight set up. Uh, there is another blacklight set up way down there that we're going to, you know, that's part of our group. We're going to walk back and forth and see what's all going on. But I literally hear from this tree what sounds like tons of beetles flying around. So chances are I think we're going to get some bugs at the blacklight. I, I think that that's on the forecast, which is pretty exciting. So let's get this thing set up already, man. You, yeah. We are cooking now. Look at this beaut. This beaut of a light. That's what I'm talking about right there. So this is an extremely curious and unexpected find. This is a Lyomatopa mapiculatum queen. And the first one that I've ever actually seen myself uh, in the wild. The the curious thing is that they fly at in the morning and it's like 8 p.m. I don't know what the heck she's doing, but she looks good too. I, I mean, I'm pretty stoked about that. That's cool. That is really cool. Okay. Here's an awesome one. I've I've definitely shown this beetle before, but this is Chrysina bayeri, an awesome jewel scarab. Green Bayer's jewel scarab. <laughs> um, but gr uh, this awesome green color with the purple ish legs, and they're like big too. Here's a here's one that I'm kind of excited to see. This right here is Manduca floristan, which uh, we're here in southern Arizona, and I've also seen these in Costa Rica, which just goes to show you not only how big their range is, but also how Arizona kind of works. Get a lot of stuff that just kind of flies up from down further south. Not that this is like, they breed here and everything, it's just cool to have a species that lives all the way in the tropics being here too. There's also this hot pink moth. That's pretty cool, Barbie moth. Look at him. So at our black light, we have finally some stuff showing up. We've got this guy who's tattered, but this is a, I believe a cisphinx species that I've been looking for for a while. It's either bicolor, Montana, some kind of cis-sphinx species, but it's a really cool uh, silk moth that I'm very stoked to see. We've also got a Gloveria that's laying eggs on this rock. Kind of silly there, not gonna lie to you. Let's check the other side, see what's going on over there. Anyone cool over here? Not really. I will 
I'll say. Not not cooking over here. There is a Neva Mermex male. So that's something. You know, y'all like army ants. There's an army ant male. Not too exciting on this side, though. Oh, there's another one. Look, two Neva Mermex males. Wow, crazy. So we are... We're keeping up the trend with cool cisphinxes. Uh, our Sysphinx Montana is still hanging out around there somewhere, but this is Sysphinx Raspa, which I'm actually a little bit surprised. I think I like it better than Sysphinx Montana. Those four wings especially are very intricately patterned. Um, I always wanted to see Sysphinx Montana. I guess I've been sleeping on these guys. They're quite cool. A little bit, little bit tattered, but not, not the worst by any metric. Especially this side. Look at that. That's a cool moth. I will say, our night unfortunately did not immediately start off with giant silk moths everywhere. We did at least find some cool stuff, like this Typhon Sphinx, but we were getting a little desperate to start finding our main targets, the huge silk moths. Well, finally, after three hours or so, we have our first giant silk moth who is now oh, continuing his routine of being a freaking spaz but it's our classic imperial moth and a huge ant lion but oh yeah okay 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 he's okay okay he's okay he's freaking out so we've had a pretty good turnout here tonight really no major complaints but a little birdie has told us that back at our Airbnb, the light we set up before we left, is better. So we are going to quickly pack this up since it seems like not much more is coming in. We're going to go check out what our, our other light has accumulated while we've been gone. I think that sounds like a pretty fantastic idea. Yeah, so a, so a, a better turnout was definitely not a, a fallacy. These guys right here, Western Polyphemus moths, were our main target. It's been two years since I've seen one of these. We've got one there, one there, and I think there's some more in the back. We've got Imperial moths. We've got these Cecropia moths. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's check out this other side. Yeah, Glover eye. Oh, so many. This is another Polyphemus. Some more Imperial Moths, tons of Imperial Moths. And then another one on the ground over here. That's an incredible turnout. Four Polyphemus Moths. I say four, uh, there's a female that's been brought inside to make sure she didn't, you know, get away. Cause we're gonna try and get eggs out of her. But uh, three males here. Those are beautiful Moths. That's crazy. It's so bright! Okay, explain. Hey. Explain, so is, Mason. I've been looking for this thing all week, and we finally found one. It's a headlight click beetle, and it is cool, and it's glowing. And it, like, probably maybe the only bioluminescent animal in Arizona. It's kind of hard to tell how really, truly bright it is, but it is bright. Yeah, so take, take the light off of it? Yeah. Like, you, it's lighting up my hand. Yeah, you can you can see it. The light also that modulates. is imp impressive bioluminescence. Wow. A second one is crazy. You can see them modulating the light. The one is way darker. That one's dim completely. He wants to poke it. So we cool. just finished the trifecta of species with a female <laughs> Eocles Oslori. Look how, show me how fat she is. Oh, yeah, show dude, her look at fatness. <laughs> oh my look at her god. Look at her thorax. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Here. They are is very less patterned. Wow. I told you. Oh, she's got it. Unfortunately, that did mark the end of our trip. But for two days and one night was some of the most insane biodiversity turnout that I've had in a long time. This was a very good trip, and I hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed watching it. If so, go ahead and subscribe if you want, leave a like, and thank you very much for watching.